This week on the show, photographer Juan Rodrigo. I'm photographer Brian Fisher. And I'm model Roxanne Kelly. And this is Model Photography Showcase. Set the Wayback Machine for 2014, Roxanne. Oh, another time traveling? <laughs> yep. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Juan <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> Juan Rodrigo is a great photographer. We had a great interview with him. This is our classic format before we went all video. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a slideshow. Yeah, totally with the uh, audio cover. But it was fun and we thought you might like to see it. So here is a classic episode of Model Photography Showcase. Hey, Roxanne, guess what? What? We, we don't have a guest. <laughs> Well, why are we well, here? No, wait. We kind of have a guest. Um, we, I, I found this guest, and he's amazing. There's only one problem. We speak English. And he speaks? Uh, well, he's from Barcelona, so I'm thinking, Spanish. I'm thinking it's Spanish. Well, by and, his name, uh, I would assume I, so. I talked back and forth with him and said, no, 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 it'll be fine. And he typed back saying, no, it really won't. Oh. So um, <laughs> we are going to feature his work. Except we're going to do it without him. We're going to have a guest list podcast. He, he trusts us. That's oh, what a mistake. Really fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm super excited to get on to the images. All righty. Here is our first image, and uh, it's a big cat. That is a real tiger. I I keep looking at it and thinking, it's got to be stuffed. And I look at it and go, no, I think it's a real tiger. If I am... Almost positive it's a real tiger. I bet if he was here, if Juan was here, he would tell us it's a real tiger, and he got it from the zoo. I see. I well, bet. Maybe tigers are handy over there. You'd, it I have could no be. idea. It I, could just be wandering around. I may need to go to Spain to find out. <laughs> I've been to Spain. You I never have. saw any tigers on oh, leashes, especially. Okay. Well, one way or another, uh, it's awesome. The uh, The dress is very cool. I agree. Her hair is also really crazy. I think this artist, uh, Juan, is really, really good at hair. I Probably he has a really nice makeup artist and well, hair designer. As we go through this, you're going to see that this guy is all over the place in style, but it's all very high quality. That and hair is very cool. And I'm wondering whether maybe it's all like wrapped around some for sort of a form uh -huh. that might be under there or... That's what I would guess. That, that's my guess. Or maybe a form and then the form slid out. It's possible. Um, There's a lot of different ways he could do this. I'm, I'm sure that the um, hair and makeup artist could tell us all about it. Yeah, Having, having only <laughs> like a quarter of an inch of hair, the idea of wrapping it around something is a completely foreign concept. Hmm. Well, mine's almost to my butt now, so I can well, imagine fine. Let's that. get a hair person in here and get a demo <laughs> going. We'll take I don't pictures. know. I don't think I'd want my hair all sprayed and... Form set like that. The way this is put up like that, I'll bet you uh, you wouldn't snore, man. You're, it's like a facelift. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it does look it's, very it's very cool. Love the corset. Love the, the way the skirt is sort of almost a geometric pattern, the way it's been gathered. Uh -huh. And uh, this probably speaks to some sort of a classical thing that is something I'm just not familiar with, but it's really cool. I also like her ring, and it's not, it doesn't jump out at you, but when you're looking at the image, it kind of draws you in. Yeah, what's funny is I didn't see the ring for a long time, and once I did see the ring, I was like, my eyes kept going, yep, back to exactly. it because it's blue. It's like the only blue thing there. It's pretty cool. It is, and the tiger is just posing perfectly. Yes. Yes, <laughs> he is. I don't know if I'd be as calm if I were her standing right next to that tiger. <laughs> Roxanne, how do you feel about being painted silver? I like I like the idea. I like the whole body paint idea. Mm. You and I dabbled in it, and I yes. think that this is really neat. I love how they got um, this next image, how they got the um, the gold fleck, fleck to be so big, like the flecks to be so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's silver leaf, which, uh, which I have some over there on the shelf. You have some I'm... that will goes this big? Yes, I do. How interesting. I'm just saying. But That's really um, cool. starting with the back of the picture, I was looking at this background, which I have no idea what that is, but I like the hot spot. There's probably a flash right behind her, mm -hmm. and it sort of creates that uh, round dot you see behind a lot of pinup, mm -hmm. except it's done purely with light and some sort of a reflective background. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah, the hair on this couldn't be simpler. But it's still very effective. 
This is probably one of the only images in his portfolio that has simple hair. That's true. But Absolutely the, true. But the body is done up so well that it, it would take focus away if you did the hair too crazy. And I might add, a beautiful body. Very, and beautiful model. Her yeah. face, her, her lovely, the structural. Lovely shape. And not pushing it too hard, not work, not overworking the pose or anything. Mm -hmm. Just very sort of that kick out your hip and give me a little attitude look. Yes, and she did it really well. She totally nailed it. Yeah, and by uh, the silver and the hair, you go to an implied. It's it it's sexy. It's not overly exposed. It's not like in your face. Mm -hmm. It's enough to allure, but not shock. And I like it. They did a really nice job. He did a really nice job with her skin tone as yes, well. Yes, he did. On this one. It's all well, about the lips, man. This next one, talk about unnatural. Maybe maybe she's drowning. Uh, no, no. I I think it's safe to say uh, that's lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. And a lot of lip gloss. Yes. I love the shininess of it. How on earth do you get that much glossy lip stuff going? And it's not on the teeth. It's not, a, you know, just smeared all over the place. Oh, that might be 10 minutes later. You know what I bet they did is they, I bet they did lip, I'm sorry, eyeliner. And okay. they actually filled it in. So they did an outline and then filled it in small amount at a time and then added a glitter lip gloss to put extra glitter onto the blue. That's how I think they could. It's really cool. And I think I think I need to play with this. This could be a lot of fun to play with. Yeah. Yeah. She has very full lips too. Oh yeah. I actually have a friend down south has an awesome, awesome set of lips for this kind of work. We should bring her up and experiment. Let's do it. Also the ice cube. I I have dealt with photographing ice cubes in food photography. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh Allow everyone to know my deep knowledge of ice cube behavior. <laughs> Please tell us about your ice cube behavior. <laughs> yes. So when you're making, and, and, and I'm not saying that this was a mistake. This is an artistic choice to have an ice cube with all the uh, air in the middle of the ice cube. But you don't have to have that. If you, before you form the ice cube, boil the water, and then don't give it a lot of surface area on top, but boil all of the, the gases out of the water and use... Preferably distilled or reverse osmosis water, you'll get a very clear ice cube. Hmm. So it gets rid of the clearness and the minerality is what you're saying. Yes. And if you're really lazy, you can actually do a little poking around and find acrylic ice cubes for photography. Hmm. But that's cheating. It is. You got to have the real thing. On the other hand, uh, after a few shots, I'll bet her teeth are very cold. Really cold. I hope she doesn't have anything sensitive, any uh, yeah. colder, heat sensitive. No <laughs> kidding. Sensitivity. Well, this next one, talk about another hair uh, style. Crazy it almost looks hair. like she has a squash and in her hair. <laughs> more silver paint. I'm guessing that's the same can of silver paint. It's very likely. Yeah. Do you really, do you think it's a squash? Sorry, say that again? In her hair. Do you think it's a squash? I didn't identify with what that was. I bet it is. I bet it's a gold painted squash because you can get the squash with the little um, with the little dimples on yeah, it. Yeah, the little pokey things on it. I thought it. it might be something else. I I wasn't gonna say. Well, because she's also <laughs> holding an apple. That's true. So That's... she that would have been a fruit and a vegetable. So normally I'm not a big fan of this much skin work of sort of not well. She's not quite plastic, but she's very uh, lacking in detail on the skin. Mm -hmm. But in the context that this is the paint and the very gray it it really does work i mean it's part of the equation that she doesn't have a lot of texture it's like almost like she's a mannequin or synthetic mm -hmm. and the silver plays into that and her nails are silver and then one arm yes and then she's got the silver accents and the jewelry the headdress the uh, or whatever you call that the head necklace mm -hmm. the necklace <laughs> And yeah, what do you call that? I don't it's, know. It's I, would, I want to say a tiara, a... but it's not. Okay. I, I, I would go with that. Because a tiara would stick into your hair, and it looks to me like that is hanging over her forehead. Yeah, kind of a diadem kind of thing. Yeah. Also, I was looking at the makeup around her eyelash, or eyelashes, eyebrows, and just around her eyes. It all has very sharp borders. Mm -hmm. And that plays into the sharp borders between her shirt, her arms. You know, there's no softness in what mm -hmm. she's wearing. It goes straight from 
shirt to arm, no lace, no fuzz, no nothing. Yeah. And so it's almost a sort of synthetic robotic-y looking thing. It all works nicely, but I think it's all very intentional. I agree. I think he's a really an amazing artist. Yeah, there's a lot of concept and then construction of concept and then execution. It, there's obviously, not that there isn't spontaneity, I'm sure, mm -hmm. but man, there's a plan. Yes, there is. He has a lot of effort going to each of these. Speaking of effort going into these, this Love one it. has just as much as the others. <laughs> High key um, with just enough shadow around the face so that the face becomes defined. I've mm -hmm. seen a few things in this category where the white of a wig or something is so close to the blown out skin tones that you can't see the shape of the head anymore. Mm -hmm. And he solved that by leaving a little space for a shadow and then the makeup dotted in. It's really a different concept. I've never seen anything like this. It's, I mean, the white eyelashes tying into the white headdress or whatever it is. And mm. the purple is the only thing that really stands out. Yeah. And also the coloration on the lips mm -hmm. where there's a base color and then there's just sort of dotted on a little extra. And it also uh, looks like they reshaped the lips if you see the top. Yeah. I think that might have gotten a little help. Uh-huh. But it's really neat looking. Juan is obviously a master of the Photoshop as you go through these. Oh, really? Is um, that? I believe that, I'm just guessing that he believes pixels are to be punished, as one of my buddies says. Mm, okay. This next one's intriguing. Yeah, I uh, I thought, that's Photoshop there, man. That's taking the hair off. That's there. And then I saw the several other pictures where this uh, gal apparently shaves her head. Which some girls can just pull off, and they're just gorgeous, and it makes them stand out. So if I have a last-minute concept, I can get you to just go and whoosh, take all that hair right off? Oh, my husband would kill me. Yeah, all right. Maybe then we won't. I don't do think that. I would go to work. I don't think I'd have a job anymore. <laughs> well, I um, when I first saw this picture, my first thought was, man, that's patience, getting all those things stuck to your head. Mm -hmm. and, and it is. I'll bet that takes a lot longer than you think. And they framed her cheekbone. Yes, they do. They that is really so well. interesting. Yeah, they did a great job on that. Because you can see where the indent is, and that's like the the shadow. It's mm -hmm. like the perfect spot for it. Well, and then bringing light in from behind has taken, and it's narrowed her face. Mm. It's it's made her look a little thinner. Although they've left that little bit of ear showing, so you know the real shape of the face. Mm -hmm. But still, the light has narrowed, and by narrowing her head, you've made her eyes larger. Yeah, and she does look like she has very large yeah. eyes. She, and I'll bet that is not a Photoshop effect. I think that's all done practical lighting effect. And, uh, and of course, the backlight on all the little colored gems looks great. Mm -hmm. And I just need to borrow me a nice bald model to give this a try. That's beautiful like she is, of course. Well, yes. Because you can just be find handy. those everywhere. Um, beautiful women with shaved heads. Yes. <laughs> just have to send them away. Most of the time, I didn't have a concept. <laughs> Well, speaking of bald head, this one is the opposite. <laughs> yes, th this is, there's some hairspray involved, I'm just going to say. I Yeah, and maybe some rods or something, because yeah. my goodness, that's really tall. That headdress, I feel like he has a lot of headdress ideas. He's got a lot of decoration on the top of the head, whether it be the silver paint, the f uh, fur, the sparkly things the necklace the whatever this is um another concept that really goes with his body of work has a lot of that absolutely and i love how the background ties in with the body paint and the body paint has just it's a smack you around color I really like it that is really sparkly pink yeah. <laughs> on fire in fact i'm not even sure how to respond to this one i think she's floating in milk she's floating in milk but I, is that like a 1920s swim cap thing? I have no idea. It looks like it's made out of paper. It does, but I think it might be one of those swim caps from, from way back when. I love it. I think it's, it's really, really cool. cool. I just don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> um, the, uh, the eyes obviously are kick-ass. Yeah, but I feel like the eyes are the first thing, but the second thing is like right to the mouth. Yes, well, I keep kind of bouncing back and forth. The mouth is really almost erotic in shape. It's beautiful. Her teeth but, are beautiful. Well, they might have had some help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those eyes are 
just unbelievable. Stunning. I agree. I would never do this out walking around in public, but no. <laughs> I hope not. What a neat idea for a shoot. Yeah, the the whole I've honestly I've never put anyone in a bath of milk. It's a little bit of a cliche, but it's so effective. I uh I don't know. It's on my agenda. I think if I were to be in a bath of milk like she is right now, that I would want a cap on. <laughs> yes. Well, no, isn't that supposed to be good for your hair? I don't know. I but think can there's you people use like cream and mm. actually people try to say just about anything's good for your hair when it's probably not. Yeah. People but, say olive oil baths and ugh, I can't even imagine. The only olive oil bath I want is at the other end of a masseuse. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> exactly. about it. <laughs> well, this is a totally different uh Oh, yes. Feeling. You need a dress. This is such a neat one. I love the lace. I love oh, lace generally. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? Lace and latex. Totally mm. different, but I like them both. And yet, I haven't seen enough latex-based lace. Oh, I've... It should be able to be done. I don't know if I've ever seen it. I guess I'll have to think about it. I'll work on that. Very interesting. And you see that she has tights on, too. She's got, like, the white... Um, mm -hmm. They're like a, a fine fishnet, maybe. Yes, very fine, and it kind of ties into the uh, the embroidery on the it bodice. Does. Um, and and a beautiful location. Very. It looks like a historic. Yes. Park. The beauty of this dress is everybody knows you're doing something that they probably don't appreciate doing the your photography shtick, but yes. you're not going to get in trouble. Yeah, because she's fully dressed. Yeah, love she that. She's fully dressed, and uh, you're right. That's really interesting. She is very pretty. And like that hat. the gloves. The hat. What what silly hat. It's not practical. I have to be honest with you. That is not protecting you from any weather at all. That's right. Just completely ridiculous. No. Have you seen the minier ones that are even yes. half the size of that? It might be just for style. It it's has possible. to be. It's just all wardrobe. Actually, every square inch of everything she has is style. Yes. It's and I'm good really with it. I agree. It's probably not great to walk down the street and no, it doesn't protect that. you much. You'll, you'll, yeah. Get might make a, the wrong impression. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> a flamingo dancer or something. Yes. I think that's. In Vegas, you just blend right in. Oh, yeah, for sure. No problem at all. Actually, girls. Uh, this might not blend in in Vegas. No, I don't think it would. Although it depends on what show you're going to. I'm sure there's some elaborate costumes that are similar. That's true. That's true. I like the shoes. <laughs> yes. In fact, that ties into... Let me think here. Roxanne would be six feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> and I could finally just look her straight in the eye. That'd be awesome. You need a pair of them. <laughs> well, uh, my pick of the week, you'll know where you can get something similar. Ooh. I don't oh. know if they sell it in your size, though, Brian. Uh, no, no, no. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm tall enough already. <laughs> the dents in my forehead from low-hanging chandeliers. Okay. Proof already. Well, do you think this is another hairstyle? Or do you think it's a hat? That's good. Uh, I don't know. No, you know he what? He does such I elaborate stuff. I say it's a, it's a hairpiece. Because I'm looking at her eyebrows. They look like they're already a lightened brunette. Her mm -hmm. Something about her says she's a brunette. I agree. So you and think the whole thing is a headpiece and a wig? I think that's a headpiece and a wig. Okay. But that... Do you think it's her natural hair coming out the back? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not actually a big, like, latex fan. It, it's, uh, but that's the coolest bit of latex I have seen in a long time. I have to say that it's really a neat outfit. And I have been in a few latex... Latex. <laughs> I've been in a few latex outfits, and they are so uncomfortable, and they're yeah, sweaty, and they're. You don't like bring. You don't wear any of that when you come to do the podcast. I don't know why I don't. I maybe when it's winter and it, it's you know <laughs> it won't be so sweaty. And you have to store it in baby powder, and then you wipe it off and polish it once it's on. That's oh well, it does sound like fun to be honest. Have I, you? It's a matter of having an worked? assistant to do that for you. Have you worked with that before? No, I haven't. So when you um, you pull it on, like I had, it was a dress, a mm -hmm. gold dress, actually a very similar material, I bet, um, color and everything. And it was uh, a little mini dress. And to get it over my butt was almost impossible. You do have a butt. <laughs> because from going from the smaller waist down over my hips and then a huge difference in, in um, 
width. Anyway, so once you get it on, it's all powdery and looks terrible and you have to take, um, some people use spray, but you just polish it up with a rag on your body. Very cool. And you can't really do it yourself because then you wrinkle it and you can't get into all the little folds that you make by bending to do that. So I, I see. Someone else has to do it for you. Some extremely lucky person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you start sweating and it, it's really a strange feeling. I'll bet it is. It is. So, speaking of sticking small things to places, like on that scalp. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> that that scalp was nothing. Apparently not compared to what they did to her body. Oh, my goodness. How many people for how long were sticking those on? Hours and hours. I, I tried just roughly to figure out how many of those little things are on there, and I gave up at thousands. There's really? thousands and thousands of them. And those wings. They are awesome wings. Yeah. I, I wonder if they're attached. From. I don't know. Well, it kind of doesn't matter. No, guess. because you know, there's, no, there's no sign of attachment. I'll bet they're on a stand. I bet you're right. So she has to stand in kind of the same spot. Just thinking from a model perspective. So you're ready to get laid out on a table and get tens of thousands of little dots put all over you? Maybe someday. I think it's a really interesting concept. It is really cool. I need Although, a studio. I would need as flat of a stomach as hers. Well, you do. <laughs> I have a tiny bit more than she does because she is really skinny. She is incredibly lean, which you can see through some of the definition around her hips. But uh -huh. uh, reminding everybody that when you do an image that is straight on like this, and in this case, if you look at her eyes, she's being lit from below and above. Uh -huh. And that lower lighting kills the shape of her pooch. Cause so she probably has a, the old, you know, mammal pooch there. But, just like a normal um, person. You just can't see it huh. because of the way the lighting's done. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's all about the light. And you can still see some nice definition in her breasts, too, on the sides. They are lovely breasts. They are. Yes. And her hair, man. There's That's so many things I can. There's so many things I can say about this image. She's just gorgeous, and they really had a good concept with the wings and the glitter body mm -hmm. art. Her hair is so big it starts to make her head look small. It's true. And I start thinking, did they shrink her head? That would be the strangest Photoshop choice <laughs> ever. So then I kind of put my hands over the hair, and all of a sudden her head was the right size again. It's just so much hair. Uh huh. And it's it. They've really um, teased it. Mm hmm. So breaking down the lighting, I'm seeing a small soft box coming up from the bottom. I'm seeing probably a lightly gridded box coming above from the left, photographer's left, that is, model's right, and then um, probably a much heavier gridded bar across shooting from behind her to give those highlights on the wings and the top of her hair um, maybe a strip, maybe a really narrow strip. Uh, it's really good. It's light. It's nicely done. Yeah, he did a really excellent job. Yeah, and I I sure hope he had a budget for this and wasn't just because he's like, I think I'm going to pay a whole crew of people to stick little silver things on people. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we like having the guest here because it leaves, I mean, don't get me wrong, mysteries are cool, but I'd like to know. I would too. Maybe he'll give us some insight yeah, later. I wouldn't mind a bit. Uh, I'll probably send him an email and go, really? How did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This next one has those boots again that you like, Brian. Oh, yes. <laughs> or maybe that I like. <laughs> uh, you're projecting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am um, I really like the image. I'm curious why he didn't match the lipstick to the wardrobe. You know, I didn't catch that right away, but you're right. They are a shade redder. Because if you're going to go through this much effort to get the outfit together, the location the way it is, the hair makeup and then to go with a different shade is just curious to me well undoubtedly if this was going into a magazine and i'm guessing this is a magazine shoot mm -hmm. the guy that did the final color work probably brought those a little closer okay um you might keep them a little different just just because but uh yeah you're right they do need to come in just a bit huh. um something that can change i i do really like her pose too <laughs> pose is good um, the architecture is cool. Even the bench is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Looks like a public park bench, though. Yeah, I'm looking at what that building is behind, and it is, it's quite interesting, whatever it is. It's elaborate. 
just like her hair. That is such yes. a strange Speaking of hair. It's got to have been a straightener. They've got to have made those angles with a straightener. Yeah. I've got to think that stays in your hair for a while. That doesn't that, that those little kinks probably don't wash out as over a day. I bet a couple whenever I do my hair elaborately like crazy for different things and I have never gone this crazy. Mm-hmm. But a couple of shampoos will typically really, take it, it does. out. Mm-hmm. Again, no hair. Because they're hair products. Really the hair products, they're meant to be washed out. So if you put a lot mm-hmm. in, it just takes extra washing. So you think that's just a, f- a flattener that's, and then just a whole bunch of product to Uh huh. I think together. it's a straightener and just a f- like the one flatten and then stop. And then you go to the next piece and you flatten it the other direction. Yeah. But I don't know. It's a really interesting concept. Well, I have put this picture in my archive of ideas um, because I could never explain that to a hairstylist. Uh, yeah, this is This is so one of those different. where you show them, you're like, do this. And mm-hmm. then they scream and leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> or Does they notify like you that your budget needs to be just a little larger. Yeah. <laughs> the dress. It is all about the dress. Very interesting. I love that it fades to being very sheer on top, but then the gold work provides the coverage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of his are are implied, and that's really cool. Yeah, he just just a fabulous job of managing nudity, which sounds weird, but that's what it is. And you're managing this illusion, and the illusion actually, in my opinion, is more powerful than being just straight up nude. Mm-hmm. I agree. And he he did the one glove again. The one that's true. glove was silver on just a a painted silver glove the first time. And What's interesting image. is if you look at how the dress becomes opaque over the right breast, basically, mm-hmm. it's like it's a sheer fabric that does, that's then been sort of paint, spray painted to become opaque. Not mm-hmm. sure how that's done. Yeah. But the opacity is on the photographer's uh, left-hand side, as is the glove. Can't possibly be a mistake. No. Oh, no. I know it can't be a mistake. It's his style, and it's very interesting. Oh, you know what I think that is? Hmm. I think she's body painted underneath, and then sheer cloth over the top. Oh, I bet you're right. And that, it's probably a skirt and a shawl. Yeah, and I'm loving this uh, this seeing the breast through on the far left-hand side. Mm-hmm. That uh, sort of the side under breast, which is a sexy, sexy thing. It is. Yeah, I really do like the accents. This is a really interesting image. Yeah, and the more I look at it, the more this is a, another highly complex, highly planned, no accidents, really well done. Very. Just a beautiful image. She, her eyes, the way she has her hand posed, it's a really pretty image. Yeah, I brought this in partially because it shows diversity. He is covering the whole modeling spectrum. But mostly, I wanted to point out the skin. Okay. He is obviously a Photoshop guy, and he's obviously capable of, uh, of course, not treating the skin or treating it heavily, depending on the artistic presentation. In this case, this skin has been worked, but it's been worked really carefully to look natural, to feel organic. And, and the lesson I think we should all take away from this is that your treatment of the skin should be related to the overall piece of art, if you know what I mean. Yes, that's really nice. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a little captivated. Her look is so interesting. You you can't have a date. No. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you're married. I'm not I'm looking better. for a date, gonna, but I was... I'm going to go ahead and just change this image. You're a little too... I'm curious about what she's thinking about. She has such um, that, that far away look. I just assumed she was thinking about me. As oh, I was staring at it. Isn't of course. that what you got? Is she's <laughs> thinking of, thinking about you? You know, I didn't get that. I feel like she's daydreaming and that she accidentally just was looking at this direction. Oh, I see. From what I see. Different. Well, here's your one piece. I do love a good one piece bathing suit. I know the <laughs> oddly for a guy that shoots uh bikinis like once a week, every week, year around. Mm-hmm. I love a one piece suit. Yeah, it's it, it brings and out more than just the stomach. It's true. The um, And I love, well, honestly, I love all, all about this. I love the purple, how it sets off with the sky. has got some relation to it. The ground has earth tones, which work with her nice mocha skin. I love the short hair. Mm-hmm. Um, 
the the bold bold bracelets and jewelry the chunky but jewelry yeah. it's chunky it's not complicated so it can be big and bold without really sucking your attention away from her face which is beautiful it's true yeah she pulls off the gold accessories very well i can just never wear anything like that <laughs> just doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> you could if you're in San Francisco. Yeah, well. I don't know, pulling it off, but you could actually wear it in public. Yes, you could. <laughs> For our people all around the world, San Francisco is absolutely as crazy as Hollywood makes it out to be. Yes. As a matter of fact, they actually tame down the bizarro nature when they put it on TV. If you Probably. ever visit there, you walk away going... It's best these people stay here. Yeah. <laughs> just put up it, a fence. It just... really is so unique there. <laughs> I consider it kind of like a wild animal preserve for humans. Yes. I agree. All the eccentric people in the world go should go if they don't already live mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Yeah. I think, you know, when, when that crazy eccentric guy from high school shows up in San Francisco, he's like, my homeland. Yes, I'm free. <laughs> Uh, let me express myself, that and I'm going to express I, myself walking down the street next to you. I have no desire to live there, but I I love visiting every once in a while going, human humanity is a very strange thing. And very odd. Yeah, it's, it's worth your time. It's really interesting. <laughs> this series is cool. I like the ribbon. It's different. I like the ribbon. I I would love to find out why the gal in the lower left hand doesn't have green lips oh yes good catch or why the blue lips are there That's because well, he, she has green eyes though look at the what? eyeshadow i think there is one matching accent so blue has blue lips orange has orange eyeshadow. eyeshadow green has green eyes eye liner and red has the or red eyebrows eyebrows which I never thought red eyebrows would be sexy before, but I'm officially changing my mind. It looks really neat. It does. It's all good. I'm hoping this isn't something the model had to have styled on their head. I'm hoping this happened somewhere else and was applied. I hope so, too. I just, if you see, there's little loops above and, and below the actual eyepiece. And I bet, I bet that they looped it through there. I guess it's it I put it on here just because it is it's the strangest thing I've ever seen done with hair and I've seen some pretty strange things. You're right. It's pro it is the most outrageous thing I've seen too with hair. I also and 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 falling back to photography, it obviously leads you to her eyes and then it's almost a monochrome image with just some subtle color and then those lips. He loves lips that just yes. Bang. Yes, he does. Hit ya. Good and call. I approve. Yes, I like it. It's unique. I like it too. It's... I'm just looking at it going, what 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 were you taking when this came to you? <laughs> it's not something that I would want to do. Because I feel like it's a little bit out of my comfort zone and maybe that's why I should do it someday, something yeah. crazy with hair, but at this point, I'm pretty happy with the natural look. I'm liking building it separately and just setting it on the model's head. Yes. Yeah. And then bobby pinning or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a butt shot. We have a butt shot. Yay. Shockingly, off with butt. this would be the last image in our set. <laughs> and it's not just here because there is a truly remarkable posterior there. Oh, yeah. It was incredible. Yeah. My wife walked by and went, oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the use of color. It's relatively simple. It's sexy. Again, I love the net of this little cami she's wearing. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful, and I'm a sucker for this magenta color. It's such an and interesting I'm a sucker material. For so and sucker for bus. <laughs> yeah, what can I tell you? I like a good Heidi. Well, it's a lot easier to get boobs than it is to get a butt. So. It's a That's good thing true. to be born with the butts, so you can improve other you can things always, if you really yeah. need to. Okay, I would like to just advise the world, please lay off on the butt implant. Oh. It never looks good. You're better off just face the other direction. I just haven't seen any 
I work in the medical field and I've seen a few and honestly just the world needs to just say it was a nice experiment. We're moving on. Never doing that again. Yes. Yeah. That would make more sense. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Spend the extra money to get a really high quality boob job if you're going to get one. Yeah. Don't skimp on that to get to get a fanny implant. Yes. And you know it's going to go south, pardon the pun, in the future. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, just don't do it. It's just it's not good. Anyway, yes. back to the picture. It's amazing. We love it. And that's the last one we have for one. Love it. Well, on to the gadget of the week. Oh, the gadget of the week. I have a confession to make, Roxanne. Well, let me know. What is it? I take crooked pictures. <laughs> it's true. It's horrible. Well, I have. It goes back to shooting too much with square format film cameras where it kind of just didn't matter. Mm-hmm. And I am perennially getting back and going, wow, I took 600 pictures and 592 of them are crooked. Crooked. (laughs) (laughs) So, and I am trying to be better about dragging a tripod to the beach. Oh, man, that's tough. Tripods have gotten light. They've gotten easy to move around. The problem is tripod heads and working on the beach where you're moving around and your subject's moving, they don't go together very well. Mm-hmm. So we need to steal a piece of equipment from our lovely bird photographing friends. And that would be a gimbal tripod head. Oh. So there, most of us fashion people, we don't have these and we should, as it turns out. The difference between a gimbal tripod head and, say, a ball head that we're all used to using, the ball head is nifty because you can you know, move, loosen it up, move all around, you get some stability. The problem is it doesn't affix the level of the camera, and if you have it loose enough to do the job, you'll lose a lot of your stability. So the guys that shoot birds primarily and other wildlife created the gimbal heads, and the gimbal head... It rotates around the center of gravity of the camera. So this allows you to have very good stability and still aim the camera anywhere you want. And if you're lucky, everything's uh, level, which would be great. <laughs> yeah, that's not the hope. So first I'm going to recommend the Wimbley. These folks make beautiful gear. It is certainly as good as you can imagine The bad news is it's a relatively simple device for $500 on a good day. Wow. And yeah. And as much as I love spending money, um, my wife says I should look for bargains. (laughs) And since I know you guys like bargains, I did a little research on eBay. I did a little research on Amazon. And there are some good, relatively inexpensive uh, gimbal heads out there. Looking on eBay, I found that there is one model of gimbal head that is sold by multiple vendors for about a hundred bucks. But of course, on eBay, since it's coming from a faraway country, you don't get feedback. So I left that page open. I zipped over to Amazon and found what looks like it's the identical head being sold for $150, but it has lots of user feedback, and the user feedback is all very, very positive. So I'm going to recommend that people, if you're not going to go for the oh awesome Wembley head for 500 bucks, go look at the one on Amazon. And I'm going to recommend the $150 Amazon head. And then if you're adventurous enough to say, my, that one on eBay looks like the same one. If you want to take the chance that it really is, I would uh, personally, I'm saving the 50 bucks. I'm ordering the one on Amazon. It's coming from, again, the other side of the you planet. Mean eBay. And eBay. Sorry. I mean eBay. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But the Amazon one is a sure bet to be good. There, I Rarely do you see such high positive reviews. It'll stabilize everything. It's good for use in the studio. It's good for use out in the field. And if you really want to take a picture of a bird, it's extremely handy. <laughs> so if you'd like to find Juan, jump over to Model Mayhem and search for Juan Rodrigo. Or just Google search his name. He'll come right up. His work is spectacular. And anytime you're looking for a little inspiration, his profile should be a hot button. Go find it, enjoy it, and be inspired. That's right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And keep on clicking.